Oh, what's going on, Call of Duty refugees? We're gonna be catching up on some Call of Duty hate videos, everybody. But not nah, today. We got a real one, folks. As soon as people stop caring, seems like that we get another update. I'm not even sure how that works, but I, I got a question to you guys, okay? We're gonna do a quick little poll here really quickly. I got a video that I want to share with you, and we have another one of these videos that shows what a bottom 0.1% of skill-based matchmaking game lobby looks like. And the second you see it, man, a lot of you guys are gonna be looking like this, okay? Just like the homie uh, Blame Truth, right? The emo Blame Truth, right? Uh, and, and you guys are gonna be like, okay, bro, like, this, this is it, bro. This is, this is crazy, but wait for the clip here like the video if you think skill based matchmaking skill based damage eomm cheaters hackers gotta go dislike the video if you love all of that Bruh. let's do a poll real quick i want to know where you guys at but shout out to the homie blame truth roll it potatoes because i want to cover several different things we are in a negative feedback loop for black ops 6 multiplayer now and uh th there's really uh -huh. no debate about it there's no being positive about uh, it. I, I thought that we were in an emo blame for tyra my god i didn't know about this one bro this if you want me to be positive okay i'll be positive real quick before we get into the negativity okay. uh okay. modern warfare 3 is a better multiplayer game than black ops 6 is in every single way that's gonna rub some people the wrong way but no it's true Modern Warfare 3 ended up being the best Call of Duty since Black Ops 4, in my opinion, multiplayer-wise. I think Cold War is better as far as, like, zombies content goes as well as the multiplayer. But I think, from a pure multiplayer standpoint, Modern Warfare 3 is better. Sledgehammer Games did a phenomenal job this year. Nothing but praise uh, to them. What? There's my positivity. But now... <laughs> Yo, say, 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 say right now, what the hell? We need to focus on the present, which is Black Ops 6 is completely fucked. There are quite a few rumors floating around still go. of skill-based damage. Mm. I'm going to look at some stuff really objectively, but then I'm also going to cover the cheating problem, the hacker problem that we have, and then I'm also going to cover the shadow ban system, and uh, we're all going uh, to see how all of these things are connected to make this experience a yeah, living yeah. hell for you. Unless there you are a game pass go. subscribing new to fps smooth brain then you are probably going to have a bad time i watched nero's video yesterday talking about how like sbmm nearly drove him insane trying to get the, <laughs> the, the dark matter camo yeah. grind done i think it's one of the funniest videos i've ever man i don't know what it is and because like listen man i feel the homie man this is therapeutic content for me but i i feel like that as soon as you stop caring it just appears like when you stop caring for it you have bad, for example, right, like me, I, I can t talk about me here, like, I, I've been playing Black Ops 6, uh, but, but I don't necessarily pay attention to what I'm necessarily playing, I'm more so, like, listening to YouTube videos, podcasts in the background, right? So gameplay is just like a, like a thing in the background that I'm doing, like, you know, multitasking, essentially, that's what it is, right? Just more stimulation, and I've been having a good time, though. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel the homie, because I've been there. I've been there, you know, Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2022, with that friendly BBC Inbound. Uh, friendly BBC Inbound, friendly UAV Online, right? Like, that that game introduced us to friendly BBC, friendly UAV, all that, right? That, uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 2022, Modern Warfare 2019. It's still been smashed, freaking was so thick, and I used to care so deeply about Call of Duty around that time that, it, 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 yeah, man, it was, it was kind of bad. Like, uh, I was also like, hey, I'm gonna blind my shelf with a lamp because i'm sick of this shies you you feel what i'm Bruh. saying it was one of those things but the second i stopped giving a f it's like now i'm having a good time on the game y you feel what i'm saying but i i understand the complaints though and i'm with you guys out there i'm with the with the homie here svmm cheaters hackers all of them gotta go i feel like that the second i get better at the game than my current rank i, I will also feel like the homie nero shenema and like the homie blame truth and all that right seen as it pertains to skill-based matchmaking but i truly think we are beyond skill-based matchmaking like that's not okay, even the, okay. the problem anymore if the game thank you for subscribing my brother thank you man gang yeah thank you game wants to gaslight little timmy no thumbs and billy go 57 and make them think that they're scumping nate shot by all means do that dude get your fucking money lie to the yeah. bad players whatever you can two box pretty easy now especially with game pass to get around that and an even easier way around that is to just use a vpn if you're on pc i use sbmm off it works yeah. for me i recommend it hey, check whoa. my link in the video description to get four dollars off if you want to go that route but it's easier than ever to bypass skill-based matchmaking hell you could just party up with one of your dog shit friends and if he doesn't care how bad he's doing you can just farm you know it's not that hard to bypass skill-based matchmaking so we're kind of beyond that we, we, we really are oh, no, i mean it doesn't help there. that it's in the game but there's so much <laughs> wrong with the game just from a core level 
This yeah. extends to Warzone as well. Yeah, talk to us, brother. Talk to us. Let us know, man. Let us know. And really quickly, though, this video is from the homie, the Tactical Bread. Before I forget, I want to show you just like a, a small clip. And don't worry, guys. We're going to get back to the Call of Duty hate videos that you so love. You know what I'm saying? It gives us, it, it gives us dopamine, it, dopamine, right? Like, I, I get it. I get it. Like, the, the homies that love the game, the homies that hate the game. It's like all of us meet together and this is like even if you like the game or you hate the game It's like Call of Duty hate videos. It's like on another level man. It's on another level bro But shout out to the homie the tactical Brit roll it If you've ever wondered what the easiest possible lobby in Call of Duty Warzone looks like the bottom 0.1 percent the man. lowest amount of skill based matchmaking Yeah, this video today is gonna give you a window into that world damn it reminds me of the Korean Savage thing from four years ago when he dropped a nuke on a disabled gamer. Damn, homie. Damn. This is 0 0.1. And if it was my lobby, even though I'm not the best player out there, I fully admit, if it was my lobby, bro, I would have been melted within two seconds. And if you're like a really good player, not even a second, right? Not even a second. I know how it is, guys. I know how it is. I know how it if is. If you look around the content creator... Damn, homie. Okay, so let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. That it's just not savable. It's not salvageable, I don't think. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to cover some skill-based damage accusation clips here. And we're going to look at these very scientifically. scientifically. <laughs> You're not going to like the mm. answers, but it oh. is what it is. The first clip I'm going to show you might just be the worst case of it I've ever seen. And I really can't explain this one other than maybe just something involving lag, but just look at this. Look at this 20-bullet sponge here. What? What? How much health he got? Is that the, the BBC operator? Or BWC operator, maybe? 20? Nah, say psych. Say psych! Say psych! Like I said, I really can't explain this one. I mean, this might- Say psych! Say psych! Nah, there's no way, bro! Might be the most damnable evidence of, like, skill-based damage. But here's the thing. The game is such a piss-poor excuse for a functioning multiplayer product that I literally can't tell. I can't tell if this is skill-based damage. I can't tell if this is horrendous netcode and hit reg. I can't tell if little Timmy is protected because he bought some virgin fucking Transformers looking skin. I can't tell if it's some sort of damage reduction if you're controlling a kill streak. I can't tell if this guy is just hacking. And by this guy, I mean the guy getting shot in the head. I can't tell any of it. What am I to assume as a new player? He's cheating. I, I mean, I, I don't know. He's <laughs> cheating or something's going on with the engine. I, I do not know. But it gets worse. Here is another example. This is the- Yeah, to be fair though, I have seen like a lot of people cheating, right? Like, and yesterday we did a video on like uh, cheaters as well. They are actually overtaking Nadia, the 9 kitty player. Yeah, right? Like I've seen, uh, and I made a video recently because there are a lot of people cheating. But for the most part, what I see is that people like aimbotting, wall hacking, or knowing where everybody's around the map. I have yet to see God mode. I have yet to see a clip like that which we just saw right but, but like i have yet to s i haven't seen clips like th these before where people are putting in 20 bullets and it, it takes 20 bullets to put someone down in the game i haven't seen that till till now that is that is crazy i don't i don't i don't think that's cheating per se i would go with either a glitch or skill based damage i don't think it's a glitch but you know if we're having a conversation i guess uh, gotta be objective about it so gotta uh, bring that up and uh, up as well or perhaps something to do with the connection with the ping uh i i doubt it though but uh, yeah i guess we're gonna lean towards skill based damage Bruh. on this one but you never know you never know the craziest thing i, I i've ever seen and i had to go test it myself because okay. it's so insane so ridiculous you okay. might have seen it before let's roll it though uh oh Oh, brother fell out though. Bumbo clad brother. No, I have not seen. What the hell? He dropped a potato. <laughs> so, in you my 17 that? year tenure. What was that? It's like, it goes like. It goes, wow. How did it change the directions at that? Gravity! The concept of gravity! What the hell? This defies the concept of gravity. This defies the laws of gravity. By the way, if you guys uh, are into that crap, like the alien stuff and all that, I have a second channel by the name of Scary X. Scary A X E. Scary X, okay? Bruh. Definitely subscribe. We are 23,000 subscribers strong there as well, and we mostly upload there every other day, every day sometimes as well. Definitely uh, check it out. Also, if you guys got Instagram, uh, Instagram. If you guys use Twitter as well, 
I would definitely love to have you there, man. Links are always below. I let's get back to the content here, boo. -boo. Playing Call of Duty. I have not. Uh, if you guys, if you guys have Instagram or Twitter, feel free to drop your ads in the comment section as well. Uh, let, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's what? Never, ever, ever seen a grenade curve like a golf ball that gets blown by the wind. Facts. Before. <laughs> the skill-based wind? Skill-based <laughs> gravity? What? What is it? When I saw this, my jaw dropped. Because I'm like, yeah. is, is this just, is this person? I, I don't know about that, this one, man. Your jaw never dropped and your jaw is always, damn, man, emo blame truth, bro. That What an era that was, right? I mean, we're living it. We always relive it, like, every uh, December. Every October, November, December, that's like, you know, emo blame truth era. And then usually he disappears in January. Not sure if he's going to disappear this time around, though. I'm not sure about that one. We're going to find out very soon, guys. We're going to find out very soon, all right? Cheating? That threw the grenade? Is the game openly that rigged? Like, did it mess up and show the rigging straight up? There's also mm. been rumors that Flak Jacket just doesn't work or turns on and off at realism. Realism, I ask. Guys. Random? Because people will die to explosives in this, in this game like they don't have it on sometimes. But when I read the Reddit comments, and this is on Reddit as well, it's making the rounds on the internet. This opened my eyes to this gigantic problem this game has. Let's, let's actually read the comments, okay? And I'm going to okay. show you okay. what I did to get to the bottom of this. Uh -oh. The comments on Reddit, pretty simple. Somebody saying, wild. Somebody saying, cheaters got guidance systems for live grenades before we got GTA 6. <laughs> Somebody else is saying, what am I even watching here? And then uh, this guy says, a hacker, probably. I just went to a custom game and chucked grenades at this angle for a few minutes and cannot recreate it a single time. Maybe it's lag. Like, maybe the frag was deflected by the rotating radar dish and it took a half second to update or some complete bullshit like that. And let's check out some more comments here. This guy says, this is a cheater. Plain and simple. Shit like this happens. It's their aimbot. Somebody says, can an aimbot actually change a grenade mid-flight? This person says, yes. I, I know what it is. It's probably the wind. It is the wind. It is realism. We have added a new mechanic in Call of Duty by the no realistic. It's our new AI in the game, right? Just like you remember the fish AI? You remember the fish AI? Yeah, that's what it is, guys. It's like the woo. It's like the wind. It's like the woo 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 woo. Like that. Like the woo 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 woo. You know, it's like the, it's, it's one of those, it's one of those. I have one in a different game that you could control bounces of smokes and flashes. So the general consensus here among the Redditors is that this person was cheating. So what I did was I went into a private match and I booted up that fucking map, which honest to God gives me like PTSD every time I look at it. SCUD! I booted up that terrible map to my dismay and I tried to recreate this and I want to show you what I got and I didn't have to try very hard. But just just look at this. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh my bad. Let's see. Alright. Slowly, slowly. Steady. Granado. I feel like it did move though. I feel like it did move. Yeah, slightly, slightly. It's the event. It's the realism. Realism, guys. Realism. Well, well, well. It looks like something is horribly fucked up. <laughs> you see, that little satellite thing there, I don't know if it used to be bigger or something in the previous version of the map, and they didn't change the hitbox on oh, it, it's moving. but someone else did another test, uh, even going from the other side, and showing that it's not consistent, but you can see this, like, wind effect, or, like, this uh, guide effect happening with your grenades when you're throwing grenades from that position. However, most people would assume, by the Reddit post, that you are cheating and most likely report you. Yeah. Here is where everything falls apart, and we... Man, this is, uh, it, this is insane, right? So this is more like a glitch, uh, yeah, F all with that realism, like, Call of Duty, bro, they don't have that budget. I mean, they do have all the money in the world, but, like, these suckers would never, like, do that, okay? They're so busy sending friendly uavs online right that uh, yeah like forget about that like they're never gonna Bruh. yeah we're talking call of duty we're not there you would need playstation 100 for the wind realism wind realism right like let's be real this is clearly like a bug a glitch in the game but see this is where we are at us as a society 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 <laughs> this is where we are as a community in call of duty and i don't blame anybody i don't blame anybody because there have been so many people cheating in the game not everybody once again not everybody but there's so many people cheating so many streamers youtubers twitch streamers cheating in this game and there's so much skill based matching and eomm skill based damage there's so much crap so much algorithm crap that the second you see something that defies laws of uh, gravity or whatever you're like <laughs> you're, all of a sudden you just cannot compute you you forget the the sense of uh 
reasonings, right? Like you you forget the you you forget all your senses and you're like cheater, cheater, hacker, 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 report, 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 and you do that, right? I, and I don't blame anybody. I, of course, like I'm exaggerating and I'm like trying to add this for entertainment value. Uh, I'm saying it this way, but on a real though, like for real, okay? No character. On a real though, I understand like why people uh, would report, and that's bad, right? That's bad because uh, that guy must have the guy that threw the grenade. Either he threw by accident, or either he learned the fact that hey, if I do it this way, the grenade is always gonna go on the other side, so I'm gonna keep on doing that. It's like he unlocked an Easter egg. He learned a strategy. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember the uh, T Martin jumping spots videos so he used to do that back in the days it was like a very good series and then he of course he stopped right he moved on oh, he moved away from call of duty so it has that kind of vibe to it if you catch my drift get into the next part of this video the cheating hacking epidemic i've already covered several times the shadow ban problem and how it, it's this doesn't work the whole system does not work but most mm -hmm. likely the person throwing this grenade if he does this enough times in scud and gets reported by random people who thinks he's cheating when it's just the game being a yeah. buggy piece of shit then he is going to get shadow banned for yeah. a week and yeah, then yeah. face actual cheaters and he's not like face swag uh, no disrespect to the homie face swag you gotta do what you gotta do man nothing but love man he grinding he grinding he grinding okay but but like yeah he's gonna then he cannot end up like swag because swag of course he's a whitelisted streamer he's a whitelisted streamer and the other day he called up activision and asked activision to be put on a diddy list right aka the the the, the white list from activision he was put in a shadow ban lobby called up activision and was like Hey, yo, Activision, yo, por que? Like, que pasa? Que pasa? I thought I was on the white list, amigo. I thought I was on the white list, right? And, and yeah, Activision is like, yeah, man, we, we got you, Holmes. We're gonna put you on the, the, the Diddy list right now. And they, they did, they did. But this person probably not gonna have that luxury in that bracket and anyone else unlucky enough to get put into that bracket <laughs> this game's such a fucking mess. But the actual cheaters, they don't have a handle on it whatsoever. Uh -oh. The, the cheating epidemic is so bad right now. Ranked, for example, is unplayable. And God knows you're like, when you're actually facing them in unranked multiplayer. And I'm going to show you guys just some stuff I pulled off Twitter talking about this. This is not me making a mountain out of a molehill by any means. Cap. It's completely fucked. Cap. And I said this would happen. I Cap. said I, I'll put the video that I talked about this in at the end of this one if I can find it. But I said before this game came out, Black Ops 6, that this being on Game Pass will lead to more cheaters than ever. They yeah, can hop yeah, on the yeah. game now for yeah, like yeah. 11 bucks a month. Which mm. is a far cry from the $70 initial price tag. Most people can afford $11 for a month of havoc. You know what I mean? Like, that's like skipping one Burger King meal or whatever a month. That's not a big issue. Bro, Most people bro, can do chill. that repeat. No, bro. No, no. $11, that's a too much money, man. That's a too much money. I can go to China right now, bro. I can go to China right now and I can buy that for two pennies, bro. It should have been two pennies, man. Like the video if you agree. Now, $11, that's expensive, bro. That is expensive, bro. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wrong. Wrong repeatedly actually and cheat to their hearts content and this system does fucking nothing so let's see what call of duty has to say about this are you ready for this i don't think you are you might want to sit down if you're standing up look at this stupid fucking shit all right I call of duty has acknowledged the cheating issue in black ops 6 ranked and says they've identified and fixed a data outage <laughs> The kings of the data are fixing a data outage that yeah, lowered the efficiency of their AI systems. They're also adjusting thresholds for aggressive targeting of suspicious accounts in rank play, as well as accelerating replay investigations to review suspicious players. Let me tell you guys something right now. None of that is fucking true. All they are going to do is make the report system more likely to shadow ban you. Mm. This entire fucking thing is bullshit. Mm. Trillion dollar company. I mean, this guy says it. So gonna go from cheaters rage hacking to legit players getting shadow banned again. This person says, can't wait for my third false ban. And I've Bruh. covered on the channel tons of people getting 
improperly shadow banned. Legit players, some even being like a 1.2 KD, who just happened to hop into a bot lobby or something, and then all the little Timmies report them because they've never in their life seen someone that good. The little Timmies who are in their protected Helen Keller brackets. The minute they do too well and see one guy maybe popping off, they're going to assume they're cheating, much like the people on Reddit assume that grenade is someone cheating. And all of this causes an infinite negative feedback loop. Cheaters getting away with cheating. The fact that skill-based matchmaking is so intense, anything out of the ordinary comes across as cheating. The fact that the game is an unpolished pile of shit where sometimes it takes upwards of 20 goddamn bullets to kill someone! Ah, ah. All of this! Yo, tranquilo, tranquilo. <laughs> On the brakes, tranquilo, papi. Yo, chill, papi. Yo, tranquilo, man. Yo, he, he needs to cut sodium from his diet, bro. Man, already his blood pressure climbing. I don't want... Bro, like... I, <laughs> prayers for the homie. Prayers for the homie. Everybody, prayers for the homie. Prayers for the homie. Is this constant loop of bullshit? Is this person cheating? I don't know. I'm gonna report them. This person's cheating. I'm gonna report them. The cheater keeps cheating. The person that's not cheating gets put in the shadow ban lobbies. In the case that the cheater does get fucking banned, they mm. get put in the shadow ban lobbies. They mm. don't actually get banned. And then everybody else doesn't know if someone's cheating, if the mm. game's fucked up, a combination mm. of the two, skill-based damage. Is there something mm. going on mm. behind the scenes that's causing all this shit? There's this infinite loop of bullshit. And if you- Yo, what rank is he? What rank is he uh, in X, X Defy? You know, he always glazes X Define. I wonder, like, what rank is he? Let's see. Think that little Timmy, little Timmy in his Helen Keller bracket is safe. He is not, because we have people using VPNs to get away from the cheaters in the higher skill brackets who go into come little on, Timmy come lobbies come and go pop up, pop up the menu, pop up the menu. I'm trying to pause the video. Completely trounce them. So, in some cases, they two box. Two boxing can get past all of that. Two boxing can actually get past the shadow ban system, by the way. Yeah. He, he's talking about himself because he's been two boxing as well. Yeah, did you know that? Someone can make a brand new account, join off of it, especially with how cheap Game Pass is, and then use that account that, that's just Facts. cheating and is shadow banned to get into the Billy Goat 57 in a two box lobbies. Dude, that that's insane, right? Uh, because, like... If you're somebody that's gonna get Call of Duty with Game Pass and then like do all of these and you know have a bad account like 0.0001% KD or essentially zero KD where you just made a new account and you died like a hundred times without uh, getting any kills you played like a Dumbo in the game <laughs> in the game just running around getting yourself killed in the game right and then you would join uh, join the account essentially your toolboxing and on top of all if you then cheat. Oh, shit. Oh. Right? Like, man, that's like an insane recipe right there. So, you're two boxing, you're getting into a 0.1% lobby, and on top, you got cheats installed? Oh my goodness, bro. It's over for those bozos, bro. It's over. Look at how fucked up this system has become. Damn. Everything I just said Damn. is true. I've actually yelled so hard. My abs hurt. I'm getting an ab workout. Yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is inexcusable. A trillion, T as in tits, trillion dollar company cannot stop several dozen people in their mom's basement tearing apart their, their game. I'm pleading with like Elon. Uh, T for truth. Blame truth. You, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> On Musk or something. Someone. Buy this shitty franchise from Microsoft. Buy Microsoft as a whole, actually, because oh, 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 when... <laughs> someone buy this shitty franchise from Microsoft. Okay, he's uh, oh, it does not say right. Okay, 17 kills, five dead, six. Yeah, it does not say that. Oh, it does. 198. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Nah, say psych. Say psych. Say psych. 198. So this brother is 158, 190. Yeah, it's like he's bruh. Yeah, this guy is 190. So this guy is the closest one to the homie blame truth. I'm assuming 1000 rank would be the max. Crazy guy. Yo, this, he's a no lifer at this point. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I guess if, if he glazes X defined, then that would be justified because he loves the game so much that he's ranked 198. <laughs> Guys, check out this video on the screen because we have so many suckers getting caught cheating and this guy was also caught cheating and apparently we got clips of multiple people. We actually have gameplay clips of people aimbotting and wall hacking. You don't believe it? Check out this video on the screen. People are live streaming themselves cheating essentially. Check it out and I'll see you right there.